Good day, students. Today, we'll journey to the fascinating realm of human development. Guided by the profound insights of Yuri Bronfenbrenner and his ecological model. This model serves as a compass, illuminating the intricate interactions between various elements that shape the growth and behavior of individuals. Bronfenbrenner's ecological model is not just a theoretical construct. It is a roadmap that allows to navigate the complex landscape of influences affecting human development. As we delve into this lecture, we will unravel the layers of the ecological model. Understanding its historical roots, its core principles, and its enduring impact on our comprehension of human development. So let us embark on this intellectual exploration as we unfold the layers of the ecological model of Bronfenbrenner. Bronfenbrenner ecological model is a framework that can be utilized to understand the complex systems that influence the human development. In particular, this model emphasizes the importance of environmental factors and social influences in shaping development and behavior. The model takes a holistic approach, suggesting that child development involves a dynamic interaction between environment, societal, biological, and psychological factors. In Bronfenbrenner's model, there is a reciprocal interplay between the individual and the various levels of influence that affect development. The theory suggests that a child's development is affected by, the, by different environments that may encounter during their life, including biological, interpersonal, societal, and cultural factors. Now, what does Brunfenbrenner's ecological model describe? This model describes the interactions between individuals and their environments and how these complex relationships affect development over time. According to this model, many interconnected systems make up a person's environment that all interact to influence and shape how people grow and respond. The factors that influence development include a person's in immediate setting and the broader culture in which they live. The theory stresses the interdependency and interaction between people and their environments. Brenner suggested that more nurturing and encouraging environments led to better developmental outcomes. Let's look in the history and development of the model. This model, also known as the ecological system theory, was introduced by Russian-American psychologist Yuri Brenner. Brenner was born in Russia and immigrated to the United States when he was six years old. His early experiences shape his ideas about how children adjust to new environments and how factors such as environment, language, language, and culture can play a part in how children learn and grow. Brenner earned his PhD in developmental psychology from the University of Michigan in 1942. He began developing his influential theory during the 1970s and presented these ideas in his 1979 book, The Ecology of Human Development, Experiments by Nature and Design. The book elaborated the key aspects of his theory. Over time, Bronfenbrenner continued refining his ideas. In addition to emphasizing the importance of understanding how humans develop within their environmental context, he also stressed that this influence is bidirectional. Humans also actively shape their surroundings. Ecological systems theory has gained widespread acceptance, significantly influencing developmental psychology and related disciplines. The theory has also been applied in many different contexts, including family therapy, education, political policy, and social work. Bronfenbrenner died in 2005, but his theory 
continues to profoundly influence our understanding of the dynamic interactions that affect how humans develop and change during childhood and throughout their lives. There are five ecological systems in Bronfenbrenner's model. Bronfenbrenner's theory is organized into a series of five nested systems or levels. The five main elements of Bronfenbrenner's theory are the microsystem, mesosystem, exosystem, macrosystem, and chronosystem. You can visualize the framework by imagining the individual at the center of a circle, surrounded by five concentric rings, starting with the first circle, which is the microsystem, and expanding outward to the outermost circle, which is the chronosystem. The microsystem is the innermost level, composed of an individual's immediate environment. It includes the people the person interacts with daily, including their family members, friends, classmates, teachers, and others. The microsystem has the most direct immediate impact on the individual. The relationships and interactions within the microsystem are also bidirectional. People are influenced by their close contacts, but they also affect the people and environments around them. Because of this relationship's close, direct nature, they have a powerful effect on shaping an individual's development and behavior. Personal characteristics, including mental abilities, physical attributes, temperament, and personality, also impact a person's development. A proposed update to Bronfenbrenner's theory suggests two types of microsystems physical and virtual. Given the importance of digital influences on young people today, it is essential to recognize how virtual environments may influence child development. Now, let's do the recap. The microsystem accounts for these experiences that directly involve and affect the individual and shape their behavior, learning, values, and beliefs. Now, the mesosystem. The mesosystem is the next level of, mod of the model, comprised of all the relationships and interactions between the microsystems. Examples of mesosystems in a child's life include the interactions between their family and school or between their friends and family. Like the microsystem, the mesosystem has a direct effect on the individual. The different microsystems connected at this level. This means that changes in one microsystem can impact other microsystems. In other words, how these elements interact can influence how a child develops. For example, a child's family and school interaction can impact learning and academic performance. Let's go to the exosystem. The exosystem refers to environments in which the individual is not an active participant but still impacts development. This level encompasses the social context in which a person lives and other aspects of the environment, including government policies, social services, community resources, and mass media. The individual does not have direct contact with these influences, but they still shape how a child develops. For example, government policies and community resources impact a child's access to health care, quality child care, and education. Now, let's move to another system, which is the microsystem. The microsystem involves the broader society and cultural forces that contribute to individual development. Important components of this level of Bronfenbrenner's theory include values, social norms, customs, traditions, ideology, and cultural beliefs. These cultural beliefs are often shared by groups of people with a similar history or identity. Such beliefs can also shift over time. Such beliefs can also vary based on geographic location, 
and socioeconomic status. Chronos system. The chronos system is the outermost level of the model, accounting for the role that time plays in influencing individual development. This includes personal experiences that occur over the course of life, the various life transitions that people experience, historical events, and social changes. Challenges and transitions that can affect development including the birth of siblings, moving to a new place, parental divorce, and the death of family members can affect the family's dynamic or structure. The model recognizes that environments are, are not static. They change over time, and these changes can have a significant effect on how people develop. The interaction between different systems in Bronfenbrenner's theory interact in intricate, bi-directional ways. The changes in one level can have a resounding impact on the other levels. What are the examples of Bronfenbrenner's ecological model? You can better understand the different levels of Bronfenbrenner's model by looking at the example of influences at each level. In the microsystem, there is home life, parents, school, friends, siblings, neighborhood, child care, and religion. While in meso system, interaction between kids, teachers, and parents, interaction between friends and siblings between neighborhood and family, between daycare and family. In the exosystem, there's extended family members, mass media, social services, local government, parents' workplace, and family friends. In microsystem, the values, attitudes, laws and legal systems, the customs, ideologies, political systems and policies, and the nationality. While in chrono system, there's historical events, environmental changes, parents' employment status, societal economic changes, Changes in family structure. Each system within the model interacts with other systems in co complex ways. A child's family, which is the microsystem, for example, can impact how they interact with others at school. The relationship between these microsystems, which is the mesosystem, can then impact a child's behavior and academic success. These systems don't just interact with the levels that proceed or follow them. And interactions that occur at one level can have, can have cascading effects on other levels of influence. For example, workplace stress can impact how parents interact with their children at home and economic changes that occur in a society, which is the chrono system, can influence a type of resources that are available in communities, which is the exosystem, which can then play a role in the dynamics within individual families, which is the microsystem. By examining these influences more closely, we can gain a better appreciation of the dynamic interactions and interdependencies between the different levels of Bronfenbrenner's theory. The relevance of the model today is that Bronfenbrenner's theory significantly impacted how researchers, psychologists, and educators view human development. The ecological model continues to inform our understanding of how children develop and how different aspects of their environment 
may positively or negatively impact their growth. The framework's holistic approach emphasizes the need to understand all aspects of a person's environment, to appreciate the complex, interrelated factors that influence their development. There are some of the ways in which Brenner's model has influenced our understanding of human development. The theory has been applied extensively within the field of education to help design effective learnings that emphasize classroom experience and focus on the influence of families, communities, societies, and the broader culture. The Early Childhood Education Program is an example of an intervention informed by Bronfenbrenner's model. First introduced in 1965, Yuri Bronfenbrenner served as a government advisor for the development of the program. The program takes a holistic approach and supports infants, toddlers, and preschoolers to promote school readiness. Research suggests the program has numerous benefits, including the long-term effects of increased high school completion, college enrollment, and college completion. In mental health care, the ecological model also plays a role in informing mental health care. Mental health treatments that take a holistic approach often lead to better outcomes. And looking at the community, societal and cultural influences that affect a person's development and well-being can help mental health professionals understand the issues people face. The framework has also affected approaches to mental health, both in terms of treatment and public policy. For example, it has contributed to the development of the ecological approach to counseling, which focuses on understanding personal and environmental factors when treating mental health issues. In the culture sensitivity, because the model stresses how cultural factors can influence development, it can support greater cultural sensitivity among therapists, educators, and others. Understanding ecological factors, for example, can produce greater cultural competency among therapists who work with diverse population. Now, Brunfenbrenner's ecological model offers a comprehensive framework for understanding the many factors that affect development. In addition to describing the different levels of influence, the ecological model also describes the dynamic interaction that occurs between the different levels, from the direct relationships at the microsystem level through the broader societal, cultural, and temporal factors that play a role. Understanding these influences and their complex connections is important. By doing so, parents, educators, social program developers, and policymakers can gain greater insight and create supportive interventions that foster healthy development. Thank you very much and see you on our next video.